The bones became the starting point for a new reconstruction of T-Rex by Montana sculptor Matt Smith. This is a 1 20th scale model of the uh, Museum of the Rockies Tyrannosaurus Rex, about 38 feet long. Um, one of the things that you notice right off uh, is how narrow from a dorsal view it is, based on the ilium and dorsal vertebrae and the uh, ribs. You're ripped off by another Tyrannosaurus Rex. The size and completeness of Sue promised to help resolve questions about the behavior and feeding habits of Tyrannosaurus Rex. But before she could be further examined, a stroke of ill fortune whisked her away. On May 14, 1992, FBI agents entered the facilities of the Black Hills Institute and took Sue into their custody. Peter Lawson had paid $5,000 to the owner of the land where Sue was found. But the site was inside the Cheyenne River Indian Reservation. A federal law prohibits outsiders from contracting with Native Americans to remove antiquities without the permission of the federal government. The local United States attorney ordered Sue to be confiscated, along with all photographs, records, and papers relating to Sue and her discovery. Local townspeople were enraged. A source of local pride had been taken away from them. Sue right now is locked away in a sea freight container in storage crates, and uh, we haven't seen her for more than two years, and it may be years yet before we'll be able to see her or will anybody else will be able to see her. We've been fighting this battle for more than two years now and trying to get Sue back, and we are going to exhaust every avenue that's available to us and, uh, until we do finally get her back, until she finally comes back to the Black Hills Museum of Natural History. A year and a half after her seizure, a federal appeals panel ruled against Larson and the Black Hills Institute returning Sue to the possession of the landowner. Undaunted, Peter Lawson continued his search for more specimens of T-Rex. Animal that ever lived except a turkey vulture. To some, a still unresolved argument over the true nature of T-Rex's feeding habits might seem pointless. A scholarly exercise with little impact on our lives today. But what of the millions worldwide who cater to the Hollywood image of T-Rex as our worst nightmare? If it turns out to be a scavenger after all, would Tyrannosaurus Rex be ruined forever as the monster we've grown to love? In 1994, paleontologist John Storer 